Hey there, Boots Owen here. I'm in the cellar and I'm having a look at this Solic and it was confusing me so I turned it off and I'll take some measurements with it turned off. Uh, this cable here and this fuse board here, this is the Solic switch and then there's solar panels on these ones. So solar comes in through here, Solic goes out through here and does all its monitoring through here. And the only reason this is on a separate fuse board is because this has a 0.3 amp trip on it which is way higher as a trip goes, it's 10 times higher than a normal fuse board uh, because some solar inverters don't like it, they prefer zero uh, normal would be 0 0.03 amps or 30 milliamps, so this is a 300 milliamp breaker. Right, that's taken care of, this is off, the Solic is off, all this switch does is drive the Solic up through one wire and then the other wire comes out over to the heat store over here, um, the immersion is underneath the light, the immersion's down there, it's off now, but it's it's warm to the touch, but it's off, and there's a fan running in the background as well, so if it's noisy, I apologise, and this is a meter only running the solar diverter, and that is a clamp, uh, the wire's split like that just so I can get a clamp meter on it. So first things first, clamp meter, this is what the solar is generating, 3 amps, or thereabouts, there's a decimal point there that you might not be able to see, and if I can open my phone, if I can open my phone and it will focus, you can see PV inverter 611 watts, which is about 3 amps at 250 volts or whatever it's coming in at. So they're in similar agreement, and that uh, there is coming, oh, focus back please, that one there is coming from this clamp meter on here. It's not a clamp meter because it doesn't, it's, it's a fixed meter, um, and that's reading through the Victron system, which hasn't been fully commissioned yet because this meter isn't attached to the servo yet. Right, set all that aside, the problem I'm looking at today is the Solic. We have 3.6 amps on here. When I turn on the Solic, it'll take a few minutes to get up to speed, so it'll start up and it's coming on green. There should be a couple of greens in a minute. The main meter on the house coming in, the, the grid meter that belongs to the utility authority, has a red light on because now power is being exported to the grid. Uh, from the solar panels. This meter runs the opposite way, this is my meter for solar generation and it only goes up and flashes if power is being exported. So right now it's flashing which means power is being exported. This meter has been fitted recently, it's a digital meter and it should have a wire running up to the servo but it doesn't yet because I'm waiting for a part to arrive. Um, but it's also flashing, it doesn't know which direction it's going, it's a bi-directional one, um, but the flashing will correspond. Now, the Solic has just come on and immediately recognised that power is leaving the grid, leaving the house to the grid, and so the sensor's gone green indicating that, and the immersion's come on um, over there. So, this has changed to 5.2 amps, and that should correspond with my phone. That's 5.4, and it's over here looking at that. 590, so the phone hasn't caught up yet I'd say. Yep, there it is, 1122. That corresponds with about 5 amps. Maybe 4.5 amps, something like that. Depends on the voltage. But these are in agreement, so I'm kind of confident that the meters are working okay. Now I've got this meter spinning, and unfortunately it doesn't give me a current rating. So let's see what's going into the hot water tank at the moment. Nearly 8 amps. And the missing link there is about 3 amps or whatever it was before on this cable here. I can't remember what it was. But basically what's happening here, this should be neutral. There shouldn't be any power coming in here at all. Um, I can put it onto the main incomer to the house. And once it settles down it should go to the same reading basically other than what's going on in the house, but there it's coming up around 5 amps. There's other things going on and off in the house probably that are changing it. But that's 4 amps coming into the house, because you can see this meter here has changed to flashing, which means we're importing, if it would flash, and this meter has changed to constant, which is exporting. So this Solic is basically matching the solar with the grid, which it shouldn't do. It should only bring in power uh, from the solar, and it should chop the power and reduce what's going to a resistive load, which is an immersion heater element, um, accordingly. 
So it should never be importing, but it's importing. 4 amps. Where's it gone? 4.4 amps. Um, specifically for the immersion heater, it's importing 4.4, just, just over 4 amps, which is not right. Um, and I don't understand that. And I think it's a fault with the thing, with, with the Solic. It appears to be working just fine, but it's it's not if it's importing. It should be it should be breaking even. Really, when the Solic's on, both of those lights should be red. Kind of confused. Both red or both just with no light flashing. It's this light up here. But that's not what's happening. And I'm confused by it, and power is expensive, and the whole point of putting the Solic in is to save the power that's going out to the grid. So where does that leave me? Is it a dodge unit? I suspect it is a dodge unit, and I better get back on to Earthwise. This thing cost me 215 quid. They seem to be a bit cheaper now if you buy a shop soiled, factory soiled one, but that's not cool. And the question about where it's getting its reading from, it's getting its reading to this black cable which comes over to this clamp here, which, if we clamp that on there, 2.3 or 3.5 amps coming in. It'll go up and down depending. I don't know what it depends on actually. It should be zero. That should really be zero right now, but it's not. Because that light's red and that light's flashing, it's importing at a rate of four amps, which is not right. Just for one last look here 6.2 is going into the boiler, into the immersion heater. So that means that 2 amps is coming from the sun, roughly, and 4 from the grid. And so if I turn this off again, so the solid will die now, there it is, lights off, and put this clamp meter back on here, it should be about 2. So we've probably got a little bit more sun than we had just a second ago. Something's not right with that solid, and I don't know. It seems from forums on the internet that it happens from time to time that uh, this kind of thing is happening. Now look, immediately we're exporting and that's the way it should be when the sun is shining. It should be just exporting. I, really that should be set to about 50 watts above, above flat, but well, the older Solic, there was a black model before this that had dip switches inside so you could adjust um, how much you were diverting. You could let a little bit escape to be on the safe side, especially if you're on if you're at that point where there's not enough sun and it's kind of flickering on and off, or if machines are starting in the house and stuff. You don't want to be importing at all. And the Solic says on their website it's not meant to import, but uh, well, you saw it there. It was importing pretty much like if it was exporting two amps, not exporting. If it was if it was sending two amps from solar over to the boiler. But it was also importing 4 amps to supplement that, so that's nearly twice as much as a generation. And that isn't cool. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd be especially interested to hear from any of the solar heads out there who have dealt with these things. Um, Solic is what it is. I bought it because it was one of the cheapest at 215 quid. Solar iBoost, and there's other ones out there, maybe they would have been a better investment, I don't know. Oh, this has been going on for a while, almost since installation I'd say. But the issue is that overall it's it's not noticeable. So it seems to do it sometimes and not others. And if you have loads of sun, it doesn't seem to happen quite as much. It seems to happen kind of around this 2 amp range, I would say. But I, I haven't made enough measurements and really I won't know until this meter comes on. And then I'll be able to have the records of it. Because you can't, it's difficult to keep records of these things if you're coming down and looking at a meter. Because the granularity, this one has a decimal place. But this one doesn't, so you're never really quite sure about what's going on. Okay, please tell me in the comments below if you've had trouble with the Solic or if you know what the answer is. The installation is very simple and I believe I've done it correctly. There's no ins and outs about that. It's got a it's got a lead coming from the fuse board to the Solic and straight out via a meter and a plug. If you're going to tell me the meter's causing it, maybe, but I don't think so. It shouldn't be importing. All that all that information should be in the, on this side of the wire, um, on this side of the unit, from that clamp meter. The clamp meter could be out of calibration by a factor of two. Doesn't sound right either. Thanks for watching. Your, your help is appreciated. See you later.